So he said, you know, from this transaction, I meaning the Akhirah transaction, when you give for the sake of Allah, the least that you gain is 10%. Meaning, because if you, the benefit, you know, that, that you, if you, it's multiplied by 10. If you give, if you give $100, the profit that you're going to gain, you're going to get $1,000. You know, if you, just like that. You know, just make, do the math. So, and then the thing with this is that it's something that will not be cut off. It's something that will last. You will, it's stored in Jannah, you know, for you. Except you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's something that you're going to find in Jannah. Right, and then also the benefit, you will find some of the benefit in, in the dunya. So he said, you know, with this understanding, you know, that you, you, the, you know, the one who's given, you realize that you're more in need of giving than the one who's receiving. Because the one who is receiving, he's receiving something that will not last. It's just the benefit of it, he's just going to use it in this, you know, you give, you're facilitating for him what you facilitate something just for this world. But for you, it's, you know, it's for the hereafter. So he's helping you in this investment. You know? And then also in, in, in here, you'll see the benefit in here. And, but mostly, the important thing is just in the, the you know, the, the akhirah. So you're more in when you're in this realization, you just want to find people to give. Just like someone who wants to invest and make money, you just want to find a good market. So, uh, and then you know from the Quran and I said, verily, you know whoever one one who does a good deed from you know from a male or a female, and Allah will you know will give them a good life. You know, meaning in this dunya, and then also he will recompense them in the akhirah. And then the thing, like you know, this profit, this benefit that you're gonna be, that you're gonna get, it is in a time that you're most in need of it, meaning the akhirah. You know, you're in this is the eternal abode, my class. What happens to you there determines where you're gonna be for eternity. So, just an example, you know, just to make it bring it more, you know. Like in this, I didn't mention this, but just an example I, you know, I thought of is that if you're taking a trip, you know, you know, you call someone, okay, what do I need to take on this trip? You know, and okay, you need this, you need this, you need this, you need that. You need this, you need this, you need that. For someone who's intelligent, you're not gonna, you know, when you, you know, when you get those things, you're not gonna consume them here. Like, you're gonna make sure they cross the border or wherever they reach the destination where you know where you're going. Yahsuriyaqin. <laughs> فجاء واحد بثمانية أرضفة فقال له ما هكذا أنت أتيتني ما زال بقي من أرضفتي إثنان هو أعطى تصدق برضيف وفي الوقت أو بعده جاءه إنسان بثمانية أرضفة هدية من شخص آخر قال له لا ما زال من أرضفة إثنان قال يا أخي ما يعني <تصفيق> I need, يعني ت ت I need مثلا كذا I need كذا الناس أصحاب اليقين يعطون مباشرة ولكن هم على يقين أن الحياة الدنيا ستطيب والآخرة أطيب ولا ينتظرون الدنيا حقيقة لذا نجدهم عندما يأتيهم الخلف مباشرة يتصدقون بما يريدون أن يدخلوا وهذا هو الفرق أولئك إذا جاءهم الخلف مباشرة ينفقون لأنهم يريدون الزيادة تجار كما هي التاجر عندما تأتي الأرباح مباشرة يريد البدء لكن الذين يعطون تجربة إذا أعطيت لهم الفائدة يدخرون مباشرة فمعناها ما كان عند إخلاص قد لا يجدون شيئا صفر So you said in this you know when you know if we rectify the uh, you know if you if your certainty is sound like you know about you know when you give one thing you get 
10 things back. Like you rewarded 10 things. And then he gave a story, one of the righteous of, you know, of the past, he, one day in the morning, or one day he gave a, a loaf of bread, sadaqah. And then later on, a man came to him, brought him eight loaves of bread as a gift. And then, you know, he said, there's two missing. You know, there's, you know, there's two, more, there's two missing from, you know, from the gift. And they went back, and then, you know, finally, eventually, you know, the, the, uh, the, the one who brought the gift said, yes, there's two missing. And then so he asked him, like, you know, how do you know this? You know, who informed me about there's two missing? He said, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, they verily, you know, Allah stated, whoever, you know, when you spend, you know, one thing, like, you know, you do a one good deed, you reward a ten. So because, you know, but the same, but this person, this righteous person who had this certainty, didn't, you know, he just wanted to clarify to people, like, yaqeen, that, that there's, these things are real. And so, so they said there's a difference between you have two types of people. One, they give as a, just experiment. I want to see, if, is it really true? Like, you know, if you give, you know, you do one good deed, you can get like 10 back. Maybe if I give a hundred dollars, someone will bring me a thousand or something like that. Oh, I've done it in Mumbai. And then, and then you have one that is, they're just, they're just, they're certain, they're just certain, like no doubts. Yeah, so the difference, the way to tell is that the one who is given by, you know, trying to experiment this, is that when something comes back, they will keep it. Because they got what they want. But someone who's like, is yaqeen, like you're investing, you just, just like an investor, when profit comes, you're a good merchant, you send it right back to the, into the market. Yeah. So, you know, so the generous one, you know, those are like, you know, they, they have the certainty that, you know, you give this, it comes back, you know, they're, they know they're, I'm investing in the Akhirah. So when they give something comes back, they just give again. And then you see them increase, increase, increase. Because giving does not decrease. <laughs> Yeah. So he said, you know, certainty, you know, very important. So he said, Imam al he said, anything that becomes like you belittle in front of you will just be pouring down to you, pour down to you. And anything that you make so amazing in front of you will just decrease it in meaning and in form. So meaning, the, the reason why people hoard, like, you know, they keep things, they don't want to let it go, is because it's so dear to them, it's so amazing, wow, this house is so great, this car is so amazing, like, how can I give it to someone else? I am more deserving of this. But, you know, but if you look at it, you know, I don't see, you know, just, you give it in charity. So, you know, so the person, like, you know, they, they have the certainty, you know, when they're, when, when they give, if they see something coming back, they just, put it back into the market again. And then they just, Allah just increase them in meaning and in form. You know, it's, if you don't see it in form, no, it's just, you're just increasing. ها يا واو تاء كان عطاؤه ستين دينارا في السنة كل ما تأتي السنة الأمير أو القاضي يعطيه ستين دينارا يعني عطاء يعطى العلماء والناس المدرسين يعني هدايا السنوية عطاءهم السنوي ستين دينارا ذهب وكان كل ما أعطي له أنفقه في مكانه الذي أعطي له فيه لا يذهب من مكانه حتى ينفقه كان إذا أخذ العطاء أنفقه مباشرة لا يرفع قدمه وكان عندما يأتي لفراشه يجده تحت فراشه كلما جاء إلى بيته سبحان الله هنا ستين دينار هنا ستون دينار هنا أمامي 
هاي هي قبل جاء قبل 